Hey guys, HPP, and let's finish up Tier 1. We gotta fight Bakura Rio. Oh, we just, I'm Bakura Rio. Oh, it's raspberries, I skipped it. He's just talking about how British he is. British, British, British. Alright. So we're going second. This is regular Bakura, not Yami Bakura, who we will encounter later. Bakura is the toughest duelist of this tier, but we're drawing pretty well. As you can see, that we already have an MST here that we can take out his thing with. Actually, what is that trap? I gotta know. I gotta know what it is. Ooh, trap hole. Nice. That is a solid win. Okay, Barrel Rock, Monster Reborn, Tatsumi Giant. Okay. We're in business, my friends. We're all in business. We're gonna take out this. Get that Battle Ox. Take out that Witty Phantom. <laughs> Game over for you, Phantom. Blue Eyes. And they use the, another virtual world thing. I always remember those, because I thought that arc was so cool when I was a kid. Alright, uh... I don't think it's worth it to summon Gaia yet. Because technically, I could get the cards to summon Gaia right now. In fact, I you could use the Witty Phantom to do that. Or, not the Witty Phantom. Yeah, well, I mean, I could use Monster Reborn to get the Witty Phantom and then sacrifice them for Gaia. But I'll see if I can live a turn uh, with these two up and then go from there. Because I think that would be very advantageous. So, we're going to do it that way. We're going to take our time. Take our sweet, sweet time. Ooh, clown zombie. Never mind. Uh, okay. Alright, so we got another mammoth graveyard. Uh, we're just going to summon a mammoth graveyard and go in with battle ox. Try to take him out while we can. You know, the early game didn't really have a whole lot of cards that let you just mill cards into the graveyard. One of the things I have learned that I enjoy about the current game is a whole bunch of ways to siphon cards into the graveyard and bring them back. Um, and it, it just seems fun and interesting to me in a way that is hard to describe. But we're going to use Monster Reborn to get something. Uh, I don't know. I'll just get my Yutatsumi Giant back. It really doesn't matter. Cause I'm just bringing him back so I can summon Gaia. So let's let's do it. Let's get Gaia out. Got to do two tributes for Gaia, which makes him less valuable than Summon Skull. But especially since he's less strong. But he's still a good monster, especially for this point in the game. So we like Gaia. He's good. We like Gaia here. We stand Gaia. Oh no, not Dorothy the Grim Reaper. So we'll get him, we'll get him out, we'll get him with this, we'll get him with the Gaia Blast. What you got, Bakura? You got a way to beat that? Got a way to beat the Gaia himself? The Gaia dude? I don't think he does. I don't, I don't think he has much. <laughs> Alright, let's see if he has anything. Or if we've just completely run away with this one. I think we have run all over him, tea and biscuits included. So we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna, uh, you know, run, run roughshod over him with our horse lance man. Can't get him his own very own curse of dragon yet because we don't have that card. In a in a practice run, I did get curse of dragon out of the pack, and that was a real nice find. I lose. You're real good, aren't you? I have to get my hands on one of those upgrade packs and improve my deck. Yes, that's how card games work. Uh, ooh, that's all terrible. I'm sorry, cards. You got a copy of the weekly Yu-Gi-Oh! publication, which is sent to all duelists on a weekly basis. Man, how'd they find me? I have GPS tracking in my cards, or my face. Vital source for cards can only be found in this publication. Each weekly issue contains five cards. And we got Grave Robert. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Ooh. Oh, 2,000 life points, bad. Well, hmm. Ah, oh, Manga Ryu Run. I don't have Toon World, though. I can't play Manga Ryu Ran without Toon World. Uh, yeah, alright. Okay. So, let's go one more time against Bakura. Would you like to participate in another duel? Playing against friends is a fun way to enjoy the game. Are we friends? Okay. Cool, man. Uh, honestly, this deck been pretty solid, I gotta say. Okay, played a face-down thing. Do we draw an MST? Well, we, uh, dang, we didn't draw an MST. Okay, um, K 
Okay, I'm gonna play Trap Hole just in case. Just in case. You never know. You never know what he's got. Uh, yeah. Let's just let's just Trap Hole that. Because I can use Monster Reborn to take it. Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely convinced that's the right move. So now he's gonna hit that. It's not gonna go well. Yeah, there we go. That's some damage. That's some damage. Some good damage. Give me that damage. Uh... Okay, put a Bell of Destruction down. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, let's try to play this Monster Reborn and see what... Wait, wait. Wait, how strong is that thing? 1300. So, okay. So if I play Monster Reborn... Yeah, I get, try to get the Witty Phantom on my side. Is he going to resolve the effect? Okay, he doesn't have... He doesn't have anything. Uh, I'm gonna use Black Pendant on the Phantom. Try to get... Oh, whoa. Okay, almost almost clicked the Mystical Elf there, and that would have been not good. Because that's a big waste. That would have put it at, what, 13? <laughs> big waste. Hope that is a Mirror Force. If it is... Oh, well, guess I die. Oh, I didn't. Good. I'm still in the game, baby. We're good. Not even close. What you got, Pakora? Oh, another face down, huh? Wow, cool. Hoping he'll summon something good so I can just destroy it and we can both eat it. Okay. Uh, oh. Trap hole. Oh, no. That's all you were hiding? Wait, he had... Oh, okay. He had two trap holes. Nice. <laughs> kind of have a wall of defense here. I'm, I'm kind of turtling. Oh, he's got another woody phantom? Oh, not anymore. Now they're all dead. Now we're all locked in, and there's no way out. Alright. Snake Yashi, not great. Not great, not great. But better than nothing. So, let's go ahead and play this. I'm waiting for him to try to summon something. I mean, we probably won't get to that point. I will probably just run away with it, unless this is a uh, penguin soldier. Oh no, it's the 13th month. Uh, <laughs> the 13th can. Alright, uh, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hope we summon something with 5,700 attack points. We could end this right now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just Bella Destruction it. I don't have time for this. You, you take that damage. I'll take that damage too, but it doesn't matter as much. <laughs> right to 4,100. Now, can we run away with it this time? is the question. The eternal question on everyone's mind. Especially my mind. Like, that's what I'm thinking about. Oh yeah, we got this this time. Sword Arm's here. And Sword Arm's about to go bananas trample all over him. Yeah, there we go, Sword Arm. That's what we like to see. And what is the Snake Yashi? Yep, Snake Yashi gets the kill. And with that, we've finally finished Tier 1. We've beaten Bakura. The second time, that was pretty quick. And now we can, oh, I skipped grandpa's stuff, but grandpa basically said, here's a fancy pack. And, oh, X-Raider, oh man. Grandpa said, here's a, here's a good pack, and now you can go to the next tier. Laser cannon armor, it's a, uh, insect type, that's right, it's for bugs, that was always kind of cool. X-Raider is 100% going in the deck. X-Raider is amazing. And then we got Rabbit Horseman, which is the fusion of Mystic Horseman and Battle Ox. Not a bad, not a bad fusion. I mean, it, it, obviously you want to do better with fusions, but... How are we doing on calendar? A couple more days until the weekend duel, but let's... We're gonna, we're gonna go edit the deck real quick. Uh, I would like to put... X-Raider in. I'm kind of... Uh, looking for something else that's got both things below a thousand. Eh, Petite Angel. Yeah, okay. Um, Petite Angel, go to Trunk. Axe get in here. Axe you're great. Like, like, oh yeah, Axe Raider's a good card. We'll probably use Axe Raider forever. I don't think there's that many of those. But let's get started on... Hey, there's some new duelists in the house. Verify the info using the L and R buttons. The hell are those? Alright, so now we can go to tier 2, where we find Esperoba, Mako Tsunami, Rex Raptor, who I was just shit-talking earlier. 
Weevil and Vi. So, also, I'm probably going to do this off screen between this part and the next part, but something I didn't know until recently, if you duel, if you beat Joey and Yugi 20 times, you will unlock two specific, uh, two extra packs that you can open. Oh, Grandpa was also saying that there's a new pack we can open for beating tier two, tier one twice. Everybody in tier one twice. So I'm probably gonna do all these duels off screen because you don't. I mean, it's the same thing. You saw me beat them twice. You know how they work. You don't want to watch me do that 20 times each. But I'll probably do those off screen and show those packs off in the next video. Uh, for now, let's actually do a fight against Esperoba and sink our teeth into Tier 2. I'm Esperoba, as you all with my psychic powers, especially the stuff my brothers are spying on for me. Who? I actually just realized are in the background of this. Including my hand. That's that's Pegasus's shtick, though. Like, Pegasus has that. Also, Esperoba has one of my favorite cards. Shout out to Jinzo, the actual king. Love Jinzo. Alright, so the game might get a little bit tougher now. Bot agreed. Let's go. Uh, okay. Trap hole. Swords of Revealing Light. Oh, I remember this song now. Nice. Alright, what you got? What you got, Espa? Show me. 1400? Okay, I got Crawling Dragon number two for you. Let's, let's, let's crawl all over it. Let's do it. We can just annihilate it. We can take him down, we can do this. Let's eat it, eat it for breakfast, eat that Giga Tech Wolf. All its crunchy, crunchy mechanical parts. But yeah, there's a few more of these games. Uh, if people actually like this series, there's a few more of these games I could eventually play. Um, I... The, the, past a certain point, we get past uh, parts of Yu-Gi-Oh that are intimately familiar to me, and I don't... Like, really, the first, like, ten sets are the ones that I knew the most. Oh, Dimensional Warrior. Oh, no. He can take one of my cards out of play. Ooh. Glad I didn't get Summon Skull to kill that. That would have been horrific. However, that means that I can't, uh... Crawling Dragon is just gone. At this point, there was no card that would get you stuff that was sent out of play. So, Crawling Dragon and the Dimension Warrior are just gone forever. Wow, he didn't even... Oh, it's because of swords. Damn it. Uh, okay. Well, that's not terrible. Uh, Axe Raider's our new homie, though. So, Axe Raider, let's see what you got. See what you got. I'm sure you got a lot. What does Big Eye do? Oh, he shows the top five cards of my deck, right? I mean, that's very thematic. And then you can rearrange them. Very, very thematic for Esperoba, but still, it's like, okay. All right. So next turn, I'm gonna use Premature Burial to get a free uh, Summon Skull out here. All right, that's a giant. Let's get this. Uh, let's do it. Let's do this Premature Burial. Get uh, Killer Needle out, and then take him away. Take him away, toys. And we will get Summon Skull. Honestly, just such a good card. Like. Damn, some of Skull's just amazing. Alright, I could talk about that for hours. I don't want to bore you guys with some Summon Skull fanboying. Because that will happen. Because it's just like, it only takes one sec- Whoa, he put his mechanical chaser to- uh, Swords of Revealing Light was the real homie there. Like, damn. <laughs> like, wow. Mechanical chaser is probably the second best four-star card- Third best four-star card in this game. Because you got, uh, Force Raider, you got- Take the other one out. Thank you. Get out of here. No Jinzos for you. And that should be the win. But just in case... Uh, wait. 1700... That's down at 27. Dare I do it? If my math is wrong, I'm all kinds of screwed. I, I dare. I dare to do. I dare to dream. Just to live the meme. I just, the leg. I gotta sweep the leg. I know, I, I might be off. I'm not, I'm not off. Let's do it, let's go. We gotta kick Esperoba in the face with the left leg of the Forbidden One. Let's do it, there we go. Amazing. 
Stop looking at me like that. I'll win next time. Alright, so this is our new packs. We got the Tiger Axe, we got the Judge Man pack. I like the Judge Man pack. Uh, ooh, Wabaku is good. Ooh, Wabaku is really nice. Hmm. Wabaku is nice. Last will, what did you do? Monster use it. Okay, did you play? You can monster to play it as a special summon. Shuffle the deck. This card is active for one turn only. Uh, true. Ooh, many treasure chests is good. I'll put that in my deck. Wall of Illusion. Oh yeah! Ooh. Okay, those are those, those are going in there. Lunar Queen, Elzane, no thanks. Alright, so let's do a little bit of editing. We do a little editing. Um, Barrel Rock, you can go back in there. Uh, Uh, let's see, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep the meme alive and not get rid of the uh <laughs> not get rid of the arm of Exodia yet. Uh I think the hang on. Uh LD. Yeah, okay. Um so now we're gonna go back in here. Not fiend Kraken. Oh, oh guy of the dragon champion. Guilty of the D Knight is cool, but I would have preferred Guilty it to not be a fusion. Many treasure chest, add that. And then what was the other one? It was Mirror Wall? No, not Mirror Wall, that's the. Oh, Mirror of Illusion, right? Or Wall of Illusion, that's the one. Wall of Illusion, I know stuff. Yes. Uh, should probably put Wabako in there. You know what? We'll, I, I wouldn't recommend it normally. We'll go with 41 cards for right now. I just want to see. And let's go get our second duel against Espa. Wish to take me on once more. You are no company. Ugh, oh, thanks for that. But he's still still going on about his psychic powers. Like, like bro, we, we just beat you. We proved you aren't anything. Sorry. It really be like that. It's okay. It's okay, we got this. There's Wabaku. Trap hole. Let's go. Uh, many treasure chest. Okay, this is probably a dimensional, <laughs> different dimension warrior or something. That would be kind of annoying. Oh no, it's Giga Tank Wolf again. There we go. Nice. Got it. Got him. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Ooh, we play Giant Trunade. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that is actually bad. Oh no, my monster. I need that. Give it back. Uh, okay. So I have a few ideas here. Uh, we're gonna play Trap Hole, we're gonna play that, we're gonna play Dark Hole. Just to kill that thing, because it's already on the field and it's kind of annoying me. And then we're gonna play Snake Yashi. Everyone's favorite, that thing. Coconuts. <laughs> Coconuts. Alright, so Espo's got some tricky stuff. We could grab one of his mechanical chasers, though. So I'm not that worried. Uh, if he summons another one, we can Bellow Destruction it, because we got lucky with our starter deck and it had Bellow Destruction and two trap holes. Like, damn, that's that was good luck, guys. That was very good luck. And speaking of good luck, there's the Axe Raider. Let's go. Uh, play Wabako. Wab Waboku. Not Wabako. <laughs> that's the opposite of what it is. It's Waboku. What thing? Wab Waboku. Yeah, what? If Mystical Space Typhoon would stop talking, Waboku. There we go. <laughs> Which is just almost exactly the same as Negate Attack, and it always confused me. Because it just makes the damage not happen. Which technically is still the same thing as Negate Attack. Uh, okay. He's gonna come after Snake Yashi, but I'm just gonna say no to that, and we're gonna win next turn because of this. So, take out the Dusk Magician? No, no stop it. Yep, there we go. And, yep, what can I say? Uh, okay. Just summon the Mystical Elf, let's do it. 
Alright, battle phase, let's go. Let's go, let's go squad, we got this. We took out Espa in no time at all. Ugh, there we are. There we are, let's go. Expert really brought this whole thing together. Like, this deck has been pretty strong, but like, man. We're doing, we're doing alright. We're kind of clouding on him. Tier 2 is uh, not living up right now. Stop looking at me like that. I will win next time. Uh, open the Tiger Eye pack. Uh, Simple of Skulls. Nah. Try it. Nah. Bean Soldier. Bean Soldier decent. Bean Soldier definitely decent. Um, in fact, let's put a Bean Soldier in here. It might be time. It, it might be time to say goodbye to our friend, the leg. Gotta keep Pigman Soldier. Uh, you know, Temple of Skulls, not that good. I'm gonna, it's actually objectively worse than Beat Soldier in every way. So I'm gonna put uh, Temple of Skulls in there. I'm gonna get Beat Soldiers into the main deck. Okay. So, according to the calendar, today is a dual tournament. Campaign, today's the day for a dual tournament sponsored by the local card shop, Grandpa's Card Shop, where you're a regular customer. Man, we're so cool. Of course, you've been invited to participate. Since the duels are held in match format, your side deck is sure to play a vital role. Yes, I haven't, I haven't set up my side deck. Oh, it's Weevil. Well, we, we haven't played against Weevil yet. Play against you, you're the one unlucky, you're an unlucky person. There's no way you can win against me. We don't even know who you are. Whatever, we'll be going second. Well, I hope I draw well. <laughs> hope I can draw well against Weevil. Because he's gonna have some tricky stuff. Because it's Weevil. Wow, forest. So that's our first instance of a field card. It increases the uh, power of earth monsters the uh, whole way, but I'm just gonna not deal with that extra math and we're just gonna get rid of it. No. I have another MST, so that's fine. Uh, let's play a Crawling Dragon 2. Wish I had some insurance in trap card form, but uh, you win some, you lose some. Whoa! Why did he play Gemini L face down? He could have he could have run away with that. I mean, he can always play Monster Reborn now. Okay, what what is he doing? Uh, okay. Mm, nah. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. We'll play Giant Soldier of Stone face down. See if we can take that out. Hopefully this thing is weak too. Oh, it's a Manier Bug, damn it. No, my giant soldier of stone. He was so young. Glad I didn't play uh, seven colored fish that turn. He would have eaten it. Man, all he has is face down cards. Okay. Goki Uh. Uh. Let's play Wing Dragon. Just in case. I don't want to. I'm, I'm wary because he could have another man eater bug for all I know. Oh, Cyber Jar. Okay. Fine. Cyber Jar destroys everything on the field. And then we draw a bunch of cards and for every monster that was destroyed. Uh, Grip War? Okay. We'll do that. Cyber Jar is honestly busted. Like, that's that's not cool, man. Like, Cyber Jar is so good. Oh, good. Parasite, Parasite. Ugh. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll hit the Man Eater Bug. I just want to get rid of it. Because it could kill a monster that actually matters. <laughs> I don't even remember what that was. Oh, Griffor. Right. Uh, oh, wow. Um, okay. This is about to be awkward. Uh, we have too many cards. Oh, no. Uh, that's a dragon. You're fine. Oh god, two flying Kamikaris. Oh no, now that goes in our deck. Great. We're gonna take a lot of damage right now. That's okay, Bug Storm. Oof. What can you do? Alright, Meme Leg is kind of uh, screwing me over right now. Alright. Uh, play seven colored fish. 
He doesn't have a trap hole. He might have mirror force though. That would be really unfortunate. Uh, let's take it out. Take out one of his flying Kamenakaris. There we go. If we can survive this turn, we can summon something else to play Summon Skull with. I think we will. Yeah, okay. Wish I had Raigeki or Dark Hole. Um, I kind of wanted to not have that happen, but we'll we'll see if he cancels it with uh, something. It honestly isn't important what he does. Ah, Magic Jammer. I knew it. I knew that would happen. Curses. Foiled. Well, whatever. We'll just we'll just overwhelm him with our awesome power. Uh, get rid of his big attackers first. Yes, that's what I like to see. And then Gokibor, get out of here. He really isn't playing anything, but that's kind of his thing. He's one of those like whittle you down type. Case in point. Ew, Sinister Serpent. Gross. <laughs> well, I'm glad I hadn't played Summon Skull yet. Although if I had, I could Monster Reborn him. Ah, that was kind of a missed opportunity. Snake Yashi. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play we're gonna play the long game with Weevil here. With Weedle. Ah, he wasn't he wasn't risking it. He's uh he's not that smart, but he's he's up there. Oh wait, I couldn't monster reborn. I am some days, some days I tell you, you guys. Now he's got a sinister serpent there, which I'm not not about. Though so what's it gonna do? It can't do anything. Its thing is to come back. So if I just leave it, it's not gonna get anywhere. And he takes a crap load of damage. I hope he sacrifices something for his insect queen. Come come on, we will do it. Do it, do it, do it. Ah. Uh, Penguin Soldier. Ooh, okay. I'm for that. Yes, I will take Penguin Soldier. Yes, good. Uh, yeah. Go for the Serpent. Get more big damage in there. Look at those numbers. Look at those numbers. Why can't we skip right to Weevil, who's actually giving us a challenge? He gets the Serpent back. Oh, no. God damn it. Okay, so Penguin Soldier is going to go. I'm going to not return the Manator Bug to his hand because that's just stupid. <laughs> that's just stupid. And turn another monster. Good, we're just kind of doing this. Okay. Bean Soldier. Oh, Manator Treasure Chest, right. Okay, good. Uh, oh, hold on, I need to flip the Penguin Soldier over to attack. Because it's his turn to shine, my friends. Let's go, Penguin Lad. You gotta take out that other freaking Maneater Bug. Stupid Maneater Bug. Actually, such a great card, but God, is it annoying. <laughs> oh, Needle Worm. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hate that, too. No, my cards. Oh, what I lose? Uh, I lost... Uh, Wabaku, Premature Burial, Killer Needle, Gaia, and Magic Jammer. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Ouch. That hurts. That hurts a lot. I got bugged. He's really bugging me. I gotta get in there. I mean, that's just a trap hole, but okay. It's okay, dude. Uh, regardless of position, okay. We're we're taking that, and we're gonna we're gonna score this win with his card. Uh, needleworm. Cool. I'm flipping that. You can lose five of your cards now. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that isn't really a good card to play, Weevil, because aren't you trying to get me to draw a Parasite Parasite and then have that happen? Like, you could have just milled Parasite Parasite. <laughs> and with that, we take it. We take the duel against Weevil. These uh, tier two people starting out pretty good, but this is the this is the tournament mode. So we actually have to do another one. My insects, they've been defeated. I will scuttle it no longer. Time to use the card from the side deck. Uh, whatever you say, man. 
Go, my insects. Yes, good. Man, that guy just assumed I was male. What the hell? All right. All right, let's go. I mean, I am, but that's rude. All right. Let's see. Graceful Charity. He discarded a couple of magic cards to start with. That's interesting. Interesting play, Weevil. He discarded both of his common cards. Oh, it's, it's Graceful Charity. He discarded both Kamakiris? What? Man, he must have had some good stuff. Uh, play Magic Jammer. Uh, let's start with Seven Colored Fish. That might be a Maneater bug, but that's fine. We'll, we'll deal with it as it comes. And if I can kill it now, I mean, at least it's dead. Oh. <laughs> Dark Elf. Why would you play that that way? Just use that as a defensive in attack mode. Like, like, dude. It's just not worth it. You could do that. Fine. Fine. Oh. He outplayed me there. Giant rat. Oh, God. Okay, fine. I did did definitely get outplayed right there. Not Not a big fan of that. Not a big fan of that move. Uh, Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. He's gonna use that uh, giant rat to get an Earth card out. Probably one of his other, probably his other Man Eater bug. I think he only has two. But whatever, we got 19 now. We can take that thing. Because giant rat, pretty good card. He can go look for an Earth card and I think put it out on the field. Yeah. Oh, he's he's using it to mill other rats. Okay, fine. All right, what you got? He already used Regeki. All right, good. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play Penguin Soldier, and we're gonna go in for the kill the other giant rat thing. So we're gonna we're gonna hope that works. Get more free life points. There we go. He's gonna get probably a third giant rat. Oh no, just just a Gokibor. Cool. <laughs> All right, let's see what he got. Let's see what you got this time, Weevil. Hmm. Not a great move, because now Penguin Soldier is going to do what it does best, which is this. I have a Penguin Soldier in real life. I forget what set it came from, but man, that's a that's a great card. I have a Hollow one. I mean, I don't know what I don't know what's valuable anymore, but wait, 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 wait. wait. Give me that Goki Boar. Do it. I'll take that, and I will summon Sword Arm of Dragon with it. Yes, I would very much like to have my big fancy dragon in place of your stupid card. Like, yeah, give me that. Give me that. I bet I bet one of those things was Needleworm and one of them was Parasite. But now we're kind of getting him on the edge. He's, uh, he's on the edge. And we're pushing him down, pushing him down the stairs into his weird Zokin Mato insect house. Oh. Okay. Cool. I knew I should have played that in defensive. Uh, uh, I guess I just gotta end my turn here. I hate Gemini Elf when I'm not the one using it. But we'll we'll work it out. We'll work it out with Gemini Elf. We gotta. That's what we'll do. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, at least I think that's a good move. Mm. I'm unsure about compromising so much of my card value against Weevil, but I want to get rid of that Gemini Elf, and this is the most reliable way I can think of. So, there we go. Alright, let's 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 see what he can do. We're, we're kind of taking out his stuff. Ah, there it goes. He actually, the thing about Parasite Parasite is now he lost that card advantage on the field. So it's like, whatever. <laughs> uh, we're gonna play Griffor. He's gonna go for the attack. Probably a Maneater bug. How did I know? I should have had Gaia attack it because I already knew what it was. <laughs> well, now they're all dead. <laughs> now they're all locked in. All right, so all the Maneater bugs are dead. He's gonna play another down thing. Ooh, manning treasure chest. Okay, no, no. I didn't want to do that, but okay. I really didn't want to do that. That was a stupid error. 
Needleworm's gonna mill my top of my deck. Hate it. I hope Monster Reborn wasn't in there. I'm pretty sure it was. Oh! Wow. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. <laughs> I guess that's the kind of game we're playing. Oh, I could have taken that. I could have taken that just fine. Oh. All right, I'm going to I'm going to barrel through this. This is not an adventure at not not an advisable play, but I'm just going to have these two things hit each other and then have my Griffor go in. So uh, go to main phase two and put that seven tools down, because you never know when we'll need it. That is the thing about Weevil, though, is he doesn't have a lot of uh, strong cards. I don't think he has another Maneater bug. We're going to have Griffor check, though, because if Griffor can destroy this and it's not valuable... Okay, it's just another Needleworm. Cool. Well, he's going to mill our deck, but it's fine. We beat him. Oof, all my magic cards just getting screwed. Later called spell cards, but not in this game. And there we go. We won the weekend tournament. That's how we do it, friends. That's how we do it. You had better not forget this. The next time I see you, my insect queen will destroy all of your monsters. Uh, Judge Man Pack was pretty good. Ooh, Celtic Guardian. That's what I like. I love Celtic Guardian. Ah, uh, okay. So we won the tournament. We have actually got credit for beating Weevil twice now. Oh, only one? Only once. It was, I guess it was. Alright, but I think that's enough for the third episode. In the next one, we will explore more of Tier 2, and I will show you what you get for beating Yugi and Joey twice, or 20 times. Um, expect quite a few more cards, because I'll have to have gotten packs to do all of that. So I'll go over any of the great cards I get on the uh, on the next time, and I will see you guys then. Bye.